I'm Peggy Spees. I'm a professor of linguistics at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. A lot of my work has been on Navajo, and I'm a founding board member of the Navajo Language Academy. The Navajo Language Academy is a group of people who uh, have been meeting since the 1970s who are interested in uh, both Navajo linguistics and Navajo language teaching and promoting the Navajo language so that people will see how interesting it is and how complex it is and trying to encourage people to continue speaking it. Is Professor Speed's work a form of engagement? Let's find out. Ideally, engaged research is solicited by a community. Their research is for what they want and works to accomplish their goals. After all, traditional university research can often look a little like this. May I do research on you? I mean, sure, if you want. Here's everything we know. Uh -huh. Yes. Look what I discovered. Oh, it's really, it's my, it's my, their knowledge. My accomplishment. So this is a pretty extreme example, but it's got a point. As cool as research is, it's important to make sure you're not overshadowing the knowledge of the people you're working with. Let's see what Professor Spees has to say. I think what linguists really can do is all the things they have at their disposal to try to change the social and political atmosphere to be one that will be welcoming to whatever efforts the community wants to have. The goals of the NLA are not only academic, but also social, and work to make positive change for a community which has been affected by colonialism and suppression of their language. Basically, bringing Navajo back into the community. Usually the most useful thing that a linguist does if they want to give back is things that aren't directly related to linguistics. In order to keep a language alive, what you really need is for children to be speaking it. And an outsider just can't do that. The kind of engagement that Professor Spies is doing is a kind of stepping back letting Navajo scholars of their own language take the spotlight and direct the work towards what serves their community best. From programs that teach Navajo to young children and families, to creating books that educate about the Navajo language, this kind of scholarship is all about the art of listening. <laughs>